Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how to clone your macOS hard drive to the new hard drive. What you will need for this is the hard drive enclosure. Now you can use the SSD inside or you can use the 2.5 inch hard drive. If you want to go with the bigger hard drives, 3.5 inch, you got to buy that enclosure. But once you have it connected, what we're going to do is we're going to restart our macOS. We're going to make sure already formatted. So once you format, I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Uh, once you have it connected, formatted, what we're going to do is we're going to restart. When we're restarting, once it starts to start up, we're going to press Command and R. Command and R. That's, that's going to get us into the recovery mode, and I'll go over the next steps once we do that. So we can either do restart or shutdown. I'm going to do restart. And uh, once it starts powering on, I'm going to start holding Command and R. So now we're going to wait. When we hear the chime, then we're going to press Command and R at the same time. And there we go. Now I pressed it. Keep holding it. And there you go. Now we can let it go. We are into the Mac class recovery. Now you can you choose the language. If you want, you can reinstall Mac class uh, or whichever for me is Monterey. You can install that to the new hard drive. But what we want to do is we want to clone our original hard drive to the new one. So we're going to do disk utility. Once we're here, we have three different things. We we have one, the top should be internal, which is my original hard drive. This is the one I want to clone. And this is the one I want to replace. And then I have external, which is the one I purchased. This is the SSD, which is the one I want to use. And then we also have Mac OS basis. And this is where your install of the mac os store that now what we're going to do is we're going to select that external the hard drive you want to use and what we're going to do is we're going to do erase i already done this step but i'll do it again with you guys and now you're going to name that new hard drive i'll put ssd and what we're going to do is we're going to select format. Format should be Mac OS Extend. And now you can check your original one and see which one it is. But for most of the ones I used, it's always Mac OS Extended. And uh, we're just going to press Erase. And this shouldn't take long, maybe one minute or two. Now, it would also depend if you which what kind of speed hard drive you have. But for me, it's SSD, so it is faster than the original one. And there we go. It only took 20, 20 seconds. Now that we have that complete, this is where the cloning starts. Now, we're going to do restore. And we have a couple different options. It said restore from Mac OS. And for me, for some reason, I have two different ones. And it says SSD will be erased and replaced with the data from the volume selected below. You can do undo this action, choose the volume you would like to restore your SSD. Since I do have two, I'm just going to double check and make sure that, that they are the same. So this is the one I want to use. I'm not sure why I have two of them. I probably did some things before, but this is the one I want to uh, want to clone my hard drive. I can tell because I use 56.7 gigabytes. And now we're going to do restore. And I'm going to make sure I select the second one, which is the one with the smaller letters. Now we're going to do restore. Now, this is going to take a while, so I'm going to fast forward the video. But it should take anywhere from 
15 to 25 minutes since I only used about 80, 90 gigabytes. It shouldn't take that long. So there we go, it just finished. It took about 20, 25 minutes. And um, it says operation successful. We didn't have any errors. And all we're gonna do now is just click done. So there we go, we're just gonna double check. So we have macOS volumes, that's the external one. So the next thing we will do, we will choose startup disk. Now, you don't have to do this step, for example, if you're just cloning onto it, but I definitely recommend that just to double check and make sure everything is looking good on it, make sure everything is there, your apps, your files, whatever you had. So I definitely recommend this step. If you don't wanna do this step and you just wanna unplug your external one and then install it into your MacBook or, or um, or iMac or whatever, you can do that. Now the next step we will do, we'll choose the startup disk. And this is the original one. And this would be the one we just have, which would be the external one. Do is select that and we're gonna click restart. It says, are you sure you want to restart this computer? Restart. And there we go, we just finished. Looks like everything looks the same. It was a successful restore and that's how you clone your Mac OS. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments.